Fusion sequence start. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Maybe he's dead. Uh, no, I killed him. Yes. Oh. Oh. yes. Well, that was a long ass intro. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to update 36 on Experimental Branch for Miscreated. It's a very nice update. And yes, we've got wolves. Now, you don't want to fight these one on one with no weaponry, but if you've got a pickup truck, it's a little bit easier. Luckily, I met these nice fellows who didn't shoot me for a change, unlike when I was playing with Phil Tees. Hello. He just shot me. After a quick destruction derby with a pack of wolves, they took me to their camp, crafted a campfire, cooked the meat that they'd looted from the wolves' corpses, and got ready for our Update 36 adventure. Just an FYI, we didn't see everything. I believe the Remington 500 rifle we haven't seen yet, and the tents. The guys say that they spawn normally like a vehicle, they'll be pitched, and uh, you just gotta put it down and carry it with you and put it where you want. It also has storage. I also didn't try the storage in bases, the storage crates, but I will get to that at some point when next building a base, when this is probably on the normal branch. But other than those few items we didn't find in Update 36, there are quite a few changes behind the scenes. I'll leave a link to the changelog in the description below, so you can check it out in all of its glory. But anyway, as we carried on our adventure after leaving the campfire, and picking up a few other friends, we made our way to Sultan and found ourselves a hostage. I didn't know this was going to happen, I didn't know this was a thing. But the guys decided with some duct tape to restrain the new friend that we'd made and take him on a little trip against his own will and on our journey up to the new city which we had to take on foot due to our truck um disappearing we uh, ran into some fog just a little bit of fog now this fog is a really nice addition to the ever increasing weather effects in miscreated we couldn't see literally two feet in front of us at one point i lost the guys that i was following i had no idea where they were all i could hear was their footsteps but once we made it to downtown or the new big city, we were under constant attack. It's a very hostile area and very busy. There's a lot of alleyways, a lot of foliage, a lot of overgrowth, a lot of vehicles, wreckages, shop fronts, inside shops, restaurants, offices, and there's even more enterable buildings to come in the future development of Miscreated. There's a hotel with several floors that you can go up and down and loot every single room. And yes, loot does spawn all around the city. While playing with Phil Tees, we went in the city together and got lost during our travels for about 5 to 10 minutes before we found each other again. The city is still work in progress, still being built, but that just shows how complex the city is at the moment. So keep an eye out for new buildings in downtown like the police station. Once 36 hits the normal build if you haven't played experimental, I also hear there are some easter eggs on the posters around downtown, so keep an eye out for that and let me know what you notice. There are also minor changes you may have seen in the scene earlier where me and Phil T's got mollied in the face, new structures in Brightmoor, and slight changes here and there all over the map that you may notice, if you're familiar to the world of Miscreated. And of course, in the intro to the video, we see the reload mechanic, which is very useful. If you have a magazine in your inventory slots, just press R to reload that magazine. You can also right-click and empty a magazine, or right-click a stack of rounds to split the rounds, and drag rounds back onto other rounds to restack them. This goes for rags and bandages also, and there's also a chance of finding random loot inside items of clothing on the ground, as well as on a mutant's corpse, like this new high-detailed specimen we have here. Oh yeah, we also found us one of the new buses in Update 36 and took it for a test drive. So, as Miscreated is evolving in a very beautiful way, I may start doing some guides on how to craft campfires and such like I do for DayZ. I hope you enjoyed this video and there was enough information to keep you going and get you excited for when 3.6 hits the normal build of Miscreated. Let me know in the comments what you thought and if you noticed any of those easter eggs. And I'll see you peeps next time. Oh, that building over there looks sick.